Um, Matilda Nichols here. I'm an Ilka 6 sailor on the British sailing team. We're here at the British Nationals and I'm just going to talk you through um, some of the rigging on my boat that's been done by Max at South East Sailboats. We'll start here at the front of the boat. Um, it's got a pretty uh, the normal downhill setup um, with some nice splicing by Max. Um, the only major difference here is I like to have a carabiner at the top of my kicker setup, um, mainly because uh, on the Ilka 6 it's really handy to be able to unclip my downhaul like so and take it round to the other side of my boom and clip it right back on on a really windy day. It just means that I can get um, the front of my sail all the way down the side of the boom rather than if your downhaul's on both sides, you can't pull it on as much. So anything above 15 knots, that's when I would flip it to one side and the carabine is really helpful for doing that on the water. Um, we'll then have a look at my kicker setup. So I've chosen to use the Ronstan uh, block. It is so much easier to pull on the kicker, um, especially in the Ilka 6, you're trying to get on loads of kicker for the upwind in anything above 15 knots. Um, and it just comes on so easily. Um, literally can do it with one hand, um, rather than before you've got your foot against the boat trying to pull it on uh, with the Harkin block. So yeah, I've really enjoyed using the Ronstan. Just runs really smoothly. And also, um, it's all on ball bearings. So the wear of your kicker line, um, is, it just lasts so much longer. So I'm really enjoying using that. At the top, we've got the Allen XHL block, um, which I've been using for a while now. Again, on a ball bearing, um, a really reliable top block and just keeps the running of the kicker so much smoother and much easier to pull on. Moving back down the boat, I use the Harkin 40mm uh, ratchet block. Um, it's smaller than the standard one that you get, um, which does mean there's more load on the sheet, but I quite like the feel of that. And also it stops your control lines from going inside the block and getting stuck on the upwind. Um, so I really like that. And also, you use, instead of using a metal spring, I've got this rubber one, um, which keeps, keeps the blocks upright and prevents any ropes from getting stuck inside um, and messing up your pins. At the back of the boat here, um, I've got the Pro Max 99 Go For Gold Traveller. Um, it really is excellent. Again, the wear on this is so much uh, better. It lasts longer. Um, it really does keep your block all the way in the corner of the boat and it stays there. It's really good at keeping your blocks down in the side. Um, yeah, so I really enjoy using that Traveller. And then here I've got my outhaul set up. Um, I like to use the side of the boom setting. It is harder to see your calibrations on the port hand side, but it just means that the, uh, your sail is far less affected um, as the outhaul's on the side of the boom. Rather than having it on the top on one tack, it can make the sail a little bit distorted. So I quite like to have mine just on the side of the boom neatly tucked away.